beautiful souls and welcome. Today I will be talking about some tools I use in my practice. Which tools you may be wondering? Well, put simply, salt. Yep, boring old salt. When it comes to my practice, I specifically use four kinds of salt. First is sea salt. Sea salt is used in all my cooking and my protection spells. It can be used to cleanse tools and salt safe crystals. It's great in spells of rebirth, renewal, and reversal. It's also useful if you want to bring in prosperity and success, which is the intentions I usually set behind my cooking. The second salt is pink salt, or Himalayan pink salt in this case. This is a great salt for love and relationship magic. This helps with heartbreak, self-love, and friendship. Due to the fact that pink salt has traces of iron in them, I find it is also a great protective salt in bathing rituals. Third, I use black salt. I've done a whole video on how I make my black salt, but this is also known as witch's salt. It's a salt great for banishing, binding, protection, and dispelling magic. You can buy black salt, but I highly recommend you make your own because it usually has a better effect with your own magic. Lastly, my final salt I use is green salt, or what my mother used to call blessing salt. Not to be confused with blessed salt, which is salt blessed by a member of the Catholic Church. Green blessing salt is in my kitchen magic. It has a variety of different herbs, allowing it to be used in a variety of different ways, from abundant spells, protection, love, and intuition. All that matters is setting the intention behind the use of the salt prior to use. It's also a quick way to add flavor to an otherwise boring meal. Anyway, these are the salts I use in my practice. How about you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, toodles.